Good morning everyone, I'm Sushma. Uh, I'm delighted to be here to present my project College Elections using an open source software Locluck. So uh, I'm Sushma, I already introduced myself. Uh, so you can just uh, find me at these uh, uh, tags. So this is my agenda for today, what I'm going through briefly. Uh, I would be stating about Locluck and story behind my project development and then about Locluck API and how I have built the workflow and also the demo of the project and further contributions. Yeah. So moving on to next slide. So as a computer enthusiast, I always dreamed of doing some real-time applications which can con contribute to computer society. So here now today I am proudly saying that my dream has been fulfilled through this project. I had this passion and it always has driven me to contribute to open source projects. So I have been contributing to Locluck as well as SUSI. They are part of Fosatia organization from December 2016. So Locluck is a open source free and open source software which actually provides message uh, search results from Twitter in the JSON format which are very faster and efficient in fetching the data results and also uh, it maintains anonymity. For example, if I want to build something using Twitter data, then I need an OAuth account that is the authentication account. So on a purpose, if you want to build something, you will not have any anonymity maintaining there. You are credentials, your IP address, everything will be viewed over there. So there are chances of uh, not getting hidden from the Twitter API. So for that, Locluck, what it does is, it provides uh, all the interfaces, like it actually builds the backend for you. The only thing we need to do is the using the APIs, build your front end. And also it provides us anonymity. So our disclosure, we our IP address will be under disclosure. They won't get to know. So when I was in my college, very first year, I have seen that every six months we have periodically elections for class representative. So for that, we need to elect a leader of our choice. And then we have to vote them on a paper. So I have seen like, there is a litter like next day when we go after the elections everywhere in the college there was litter so then i found like cleanliness free camp so then i was like no it is not a proper solution there should be some system so that people can go there use the portal and then submit the forms and also the portal should also help the people to get, get elect their leader very easily so for that what we initially came up with is a website but the website didn't work that efficiently because we need to maintain the server in our college locally to host that website and also we had to maintain the database and it is also a tedious process. So these uh, kind of uh, disadvantages has made me to think in a proper way. So I thought there should be something, definitely there should be something in order to uh, fetch the results faster at the same time to make the uh, application user friendly. So then I approached one of my seniors. She told me that she's contributing to an open source. So then it was the first time I heard about open source platforms. Then my interest towards Fosatia slowly developed and then I started contributing and slowly came up with this project. This is my first project under open source. So what are the main requirements my college wanted is the application should fetch the data faster uh, depending upon the tweets to uh, declare the results of the election for the class representative. So what I wanted is I wanted to use an open source definitely because open source is for uh, contributors like us. It is used for uh, by the people like computer enthusiasts like me. So I had uh, an option of uh, using this uh, open source API. So this, I found Locluck API, search API is the best one because it collects huge amount of data at, a, at once. It doesn't take too much of time in collecting the data. 
and also we can create our own search portal using this and also we can even derive the statistical evaluation with the data once we get the uh, data of uh, aggregations like we have their usernames and their count of tweets so once we get how many counts uh, of tweets we got then we can use it and uh, uh, evaluate and even we can show it in pictorial manner also so when i started playing around with local apis initially uh, i was just experimenting each and every api there were many uh, different categories like search peer to peer administration geolocation content management etc all these apis are provided by the local uh, depending upon the purpose of your project we can choose one api among these categories and in that i played around with all the apis checking with what each api actually does and i found very interesting results like all the json formats of uh, the api what it collects is from twitter and also we are remaining anonymous by collecting the data so this made me choose local api for my college elections app so this is the workflow of uh, overall framework like how i have thought of building it first of all we have college ids like each college or, or has a unique roll number for a student enrolled student so as per college norms we have the ids there those ids have turned them out to be hashtags and use local search api in order to track those nominated hashtags and students were uh, announced a time period to tweet so during that time period the students they all tweet together depending upon their favorite candidate to be nominated and then on the projector screen we will show once the time period is done for tweeting we will show the results like each candidate got how many uh, results like how many counts of tweets so which candidate has got more number of tweets they will be declared as the winner and they will be elected as the class representative so this this way i have used the local api to construct my application so this this is the main workflow uh, first of all the main gui screen the front end screen will be showing the list of candidates uh, which are nominated along with the polls and while at the back end the local api what does it work is it query the results from the twitter directly and it's like uh, i used search aggregation api here uh, that is loclock.org slash api slash search dot json here q is the query where since this is the time period and source equals to catch for aggregation api it is must to use source as the catch and then the count and the fields as mentions here we have the uh, json format in that aggregations i took the mentions because the mentions category list has username along with the tweets number of tweets so the key value pair consists of first key is username and the value is number of tweets so that count i used in order to calculate how many tweets overall a hashtag has got that is a candidate has received so i have uh, actually uh, country uh, hosted this so in order to host my application first i have cloned the repo of apps.loclock.org where all the apps of loclock are being deployed and then to install the server in order to run the uh, loclock org uh, npm install hyphen g http server but before that we need to check whether we have node js in our system installed so then uh, to run the server http server hyphen o it done it do it do it does the part of displaying the entire applications there so these are the related apis which i have come across and used during my project development uh, that is the search json api the aggregate the aggregation values giving and then checked my quality of app before hosting it at this particular site uh, and then the published the app by sending a pull request to apps.loclock.org github repo so this has uh, finally done and when i have showed it at my college the impact was profoundly awesome because people didn't expect that loclock does such miraculous thing because uh, when we hosted
registered a, a website at my college it was very slow like the search results were very slow people got exhausted for waiting for the results but lokla didn't does the work like it in a matter of seconds it gave me the results so people are attracted towards it and even few people like the ux and they found that it is an easy way to elect a candidate so this is uh, a representation like demo at my college few of the screenshots i explained them how does fosasia work actually what are the repos under fosasia what people can contribute and how one can develop his or her own application under lokluck and i have even showcased demo of my project in at my campus so this is my uh, view of the ui page the front look so i have actually my college has only two nominated candidates so i just followed this framework where first candidate and second candidate can be compared and then the number of votes are displayed and also i used highchart.js as a Uh, reference for my pie chart display and finally i declared the winner like whoever got the more votes more number of votes the sum they are, they will be declared as a elected candidate uh, so i would like to show demonstrate the live demo now i actually hosted it on the apps.loklok.org so if you go through the website you have many many such apps many such uh, students other contributors who have been contributed to it and here's my app yeah so for example now i'm taking fosasia and lokluck as candidate 1 and candidate 2 uh, or anything we can take so just let me show with fosasia and lokluck now so even the search results are faster uh maybe the net is slow but when i used my wifi trust me the results were very fast so this is how it is like very interactive in a matter of seconds we are getting the results and at the same time i'm displaying them pictorially which actually gives a interest to users to immediately get to know yeah okay fine she is the winner or he is the winner so here from past few days as we all were in fosasia conference we were tweeting about hashtag #fosasia so fosasia has got many votes and it is the winner yeah so what others can contribute for my application is as it already hosted in the github repository you can go and you can uh, go through the code across and have a look and if you uh, think that this so and so feature is very good to integrate with this application you can contribute and also you can even use it for your own campus or your own local area elections my ultimate aim for this is making this worldwide like uh, hosting elections online so such kind of thought i got so that would be even more uh, uh, like a star in my dream and can style the graphs like in <coughs> highchart.js reference uh, if we go there are different kinds of charts pie chart bar chart graph chart etc there are many different kinds of chart so we can use any kind of chart uh, once we get the data we can use it for displaying the chart lively which actually impress anyone uh, and attracts their eyes so the future goals are that like um, develop a bar graph for that uh, which constantly shows the improvising results suppose uh, during the one hour period suppose i give students like i'm giving you one hour time period in that one time one hour time period i need you people to tweet uh, to your favorite candidate uh, so during that one hour period i'm not switching on this but during that one hour period if i switch on this if i can have a bar chart where the tweets can be sometimes go up sometimes go down because during the one hour periods few people text at first one hour few people at end of the hour so that kind of graph which shows increasing and decreasing order that would be more interesting like it can be like a search analysis of the tweets and also to implement it for large scale elections like not just uh, permitting it to minimum levels of a college or campus 
so i have hosted i have told you already the url for my app is this you can note it down and uh, go across and check uh, please and also on the same uh, uh, same uh, website it has the github repo you can view my source code you can just uh, go through that and i would be glad if i received any feedback for improvising it also for that so you can find me at the following uh, links and that is my email id so any further uh, improvisation suggestions i would be very glad uh, and that is my url link thank you so much
thank Fazesha for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, everyone.